Hi there. So I'm going to do a simple recap for CAT. Um, we went over some flower variations the other day, and this is going to be a walkthrough for her. But if you find interest in learning goofy flowers or hybrid flowers, or maybe looking into this information and finding that it has something for you, if you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, or been spinning for 15 years, you know? So what we're going to go over is goofy flowers or hybrid flowers. Now let's talk about hybrid for half a second so you have an understanding of what a hybrid is or what a goofy is. They were considered goofy because they felt goofy. They felt really weird. When back in the day, I hate to use that term, but when it was anti-spins and in-spins and you got into the anti-spins versus extensions and different modes of flowers and times and directions with the poi versus your hands, they felt very comfortable. But when you got into flowers where the timing was an anti-spin versus an in-spin, it felt off because they don't sink. And what I mean by that is if you pay attention to what an in-spin does timing-wise versus an anti-spin does timing-wise. So an in-spin, it's not about just going slow. You can go slower or faster if you want, but you have to be clear or precise or clean. You have to hit these individual four points, like a plus sign around the body. It's the same with anti-spin, the same with in-spin as well but it takes a longer duration of time for in-spin to get around than anti-spin. It may be hard to detail this and see this on video, but an anti-spin is much, much more quicker. Even if I slow it down and put a little bit of a float on each spot to kind of help it slow down, they don't sync up in the same time. The revolutions of pedals are different. Because like if you think about an anti-spin, some people call it like a, a one three. You don't count the bottom pedal. You count one, two, three, comes back to start. So, but if we want to be clear about it in a sense, counting it as four pedals, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it's confusing. But the revolutions are quicker and different than the in spin. So I wanted to throw in an extra little tidbit um, I realized I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing when I was doing the hybrid flowers, that the position of the pointer is wrong than what I said. So what I was saying was that they end up in this relation throughout the entire pattern, and that is incorrect. Uh, so they end up in that relation at top, and they end up in that relation at bottom, but when they're at the position one, they're actually in this position. So as you go up to the anti-spin, they're in versus in, and as the anti-spin goes up, and this hand goes into the in-spin, they're up versus down, as you can kind of see. And then as they go through the pattern to the anti-spin out, they're in versus out. And then as they go through the pattern here, the in-spin up and down. So again, um, at the top and bottom of the pattern, they're here, and then they're here, and then they're here, and then they're here, and then they're here. So this is a very short version, Just I just realized I was mistaken. That two things are doing two different things at the same time. So it's kind of like rubbing your tummy and patting on your head and hopping on one leg. So most people are familiar with hybrids in the sense of uh, static spin versus a three-point anti-spin or a cat eye. And what I mean by that is you have a cat eye hybrid where it's a cat eye versus an isolation. And so that's giving you two different shapes at the same time. So you're getting a isolation versus a cat eye. So two shapes. So putting two different shapes or two different movements together at the same time creates a hybrid. I realize I'm kind of tangent. But let's go into the flowers. So the things you need to understand about these flowers we're going to, they're going to be in split time, same direction. I have a nice little notation, I'll give you a pop-up later up. And it's going to be one hand's going to go in anti-spin, one hand's going to go in spin. Now the thing that's interesting about this is that they are going this direction, or if you're going reverse, but the arms themselves are going to go what, kind of this direction. So they're going to be going opposites in same time. And this will be important if you focus on these timings because you'll figure out there's kind of like this bounce and kind of a bounce shift that happens between each point as you're going through it that'll help you sync the timings a little bit. 
And so remember, the point are going in split time, same direction, and the arms are going in opposite directions, same time. So, which is different because normally for anti-spin and in-spin flowers, we're doing that swimming motion, which is both arms are going forward or both arms are going back. Which is weird because if you switch the timing out of split time, same direction, and you split it into opposite time, same direction, and do the goofies, the arms go through the swimming motion. So that's kind of an insight that maybe the next video I'll do will be on that. So, a couple of things that to note as well be on the timing and the direction of the arms and prop, but mode of where we're gonna have our arms and go through. So, I'm gonna count this as zero. It's gonna be down, one is gonna be out, and two is gonna be with both arms up, and then we rotate back into one again and back down to zero. So zero is gonna be our neutral spot to walk through this. So grab your props, put them in split time, same direction, and now you're gonna to have to pick which one you want to go forward and which one you want to go reverse. So on the diagram I have behind me, I have it as right hand goes forward, left hand goes back for version one. Version two would be left hand goes forward, right hand goes back. Now what that does, is it automatically tells me that my left hand is gonna do in-spin and my right hand is gonna do anti-spin because it's gonna go back so it starts that pedal. Whereas my right hand goes forward, it starts that pedal to anti-spin as it goes through. So we're gonna start here at bottom, right hand forward, left hand back, take the position one right here. Give it a couple of beats to get familiar with it. Like I mentioned before, is try to open yourself up a little bit, get that foot back and kind of open your chest. And then when you go to position two, which is both hands up, Bring your feet back together, and they're gonna drop down. Right hand's gonna go back, left hand's gonna go forward. Open back up, and then step back together as you go back down to zero. So again, one more time. We start here. Right hand's gonna go forward, left hand's gonna go back. So my white poi is going back behind me. My arm's going back. My pink poi, my right poi is gonna go forward. So they go to position one, which is here. And they're gonna go up one more time to the top. They go up here. And then I'm going to switch down. My right hand's going to go back. My left hand's going to go forward here. So they're going to go from full time all the way through. I'll show you the kind of bounce that helps with it. So one, two. Now I can't tell from just watching this from the side view of my timing, but I feel like they're off. Now, here's the thing is if you switch it to a different timing, meaning you focus on those arm points, but go through it like a opposite direction flower, they seem like they sync up a little bit better. Cool? So that's variation one we went through. Uh, variation two is just switching the hands. So instead of my uh, left hand going uh, back, my left hand goes forward, my right hand goes back. So it's just the same thing from zero, Left hand goes forward for the anti-spin, left hand goes back for the in-spin. So we start at zero, we go to one, two, one, zero. So we go from zero, one, two, one, zero. If you wanna do one, two, three, that might help out better. Your choice, pick something that works for you. So that would be one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Well, that was a poor one. But you get the picture, right? So that's immediately what we're doing or focusing on. Now, something to think about is variations. So on the board, I have a couple things listed below that says extra. Um, extra is following the pattern. So what I mean by following the pattern is while you're doing those anti-spins versus extensions, or anti-spins versus uh, in-spins, if you follow those around, you can switch one hand to be an extension. So you end up in extension versus an anti-spin. So you pick whichever hand. So I'm gonna pick my right hand that's on the back, and then I'll flip around this way so you guys can see that hand foremost. So my left hand is gonna be doing an anti-spin through the four points, but then my right hand is gonna be doing an extension. This is important because you learn some very interesting variations here. So these are extra variations. So again, for those points we go all the way through. So one hand does an anti-spin and one hand does an extension, right? And then you can switch it at the bottom if you want. So then at the bottom, my left hand does the extension, my right hand does the anti-spin. And that feels wonky. And you can switch them at one. I think one is a better switch. So when you come back to this position, you go all the way through, switch, 
all the way through, switch, all the way through, switch. So the point of that exercise building on is you can turn 180 or 360 in it if you follow the extension. What do I mean by that? So for right here in this position, where we're going up and around, turn to the front, you end up in split time. And if you follow that anti-spin back and down, and this one up, you go right back to here. Again, when you're here, if you follow that extension as it comes down, it takes you to a wall plane, you turn 180, and you extend over in your back into a wheel plane. Again, right here, you turn your body and face the front, and then extend all the way through. So that way you can learn how to turn essentially continuously in 360 in this pattern. So you can turn 360. This will help you transition a lot through interesting things. Um, it'll show you how to transition between flowers and wheel plane, and then hitting this spot here and then switching into wall plane for all these different organization of patterns you prefer that are kind of cap variations or extension versus anti-spins. So that takes me to a variation number two that we went over was the caps. Um, the caps are in wall plane. These are kind of funky and weird. Um, I'll go to those at some point. Same thing with top. They're kind of weird. We're not talking about specifically these. We're talking about top caps and bottom caps and flowers. So what that means is taking in the same idea, but putting point in same time, same direction, but we're going to follow the same mode of arms in opposites. So if you go to here, position one, where both arms are front and back, pick which hand, notice which hand's there, and so my left hand is going to be forward, so it makes more sense for it to do an anti-spin, and then it makes more sense for my back hand to just do an extension over. So we're doing extensions versus anti-spins, these are the top side caps of the circle. So if we broke a circle in half, where you just had the top half and just the bottom half, this is what we're kind of going over and drilling, is the top half caps versus the bottom half caps. This is another variation that we went into when I was going over this with cap. So, from right here, I'm going to pick my right hand is going to extend, my left hand is going to anti-spin, and they stop. Try to keep them in a balance and as close to the same time as you can so it's easy for you to move through those timings, because it's a little weird. Now, going back, my right hand is going to do anti-spin, my left hand is going to do an extension. So we went over these caps here, switching between both of them continuously as we can, and then we went over bottom. So just the bottom halves right here, right? Uh, bottom half, something to note, is like once you get familiar with the anti-spin that happens from the extension, if you really play with this idea of where the anti-spin drops out when it goes up to that point, if you play with it, you'll find a way to kind of drill uh, horizontal stalls, like 90 degree or whatever they are, like the outside ones. Just a tidbit. Um, that's probably the next video I'm going to do, by the way, it's going to be on those stalls. So, bottom, <clears throat> same thing, same time, same direction, arms going to go in opposite. We're going to go out to position one with either left hand forward or out with left hand back, right hand forward. So we're gonna do this for right now. My left hand is gonna do, my white right point is gonna do an anti-spin, my right hand's gonna do an extension. We're gonna stop. Extension, stop. Extension, anti-spin, stop. So that way we're kinda of like working through this mode. Um, it may feel more comfortable if you put a foot back. That way when you turn, you have a little bit more range of movement and keeping those in wall plane. So again, that is letting your hand drop and extension going back, right hand hitting that down point and doing the anti-spin. As soon as it hits that front point, it's just sitting and dropping back. That was uh, extra number two. Uh, extra number three was switching between modes, um, between all of that stuff we talked about right there. So what is easiest for some people is to pick uh, either anti-spin flowers in a direction or pitch in spin flowers in a direction, but really you should be able to switch between anti-spin flowers, in spin flowers, caps, anti-spin versus extension, and goofy flowers in both directions through these modes. By paying attention to the point one we talked about, 
is a great way to start and utilize to figure out where the transition is and then transition from there. So, for example, what we went over was starting with anti sin flowers, coming to point one here, and then going into goofies, going back, going through anti spin flowers, going into extensions, going into caps. So again, that all happens from this point here. So that way when you're going through the anti-spin flower at this point, you hit one. And there you take a second, think about what you're gonna do, like, all right, I'm gonna do a cap twice, forward and back, and then I'm gonna do an extension versus an anti-spin, and then I'm gonna switch back to anti-spin, and then back at point one, that's where I'm gonna go, okay, I'm gonna do a goofy flower, or normal flower. And then back at point one, I'm gonna rock it through an anti-spin, then another extension versus that, versus a cap. Um, and then we're gonna do an anti-spin versus in spin. Sure, so I hope that makes sense. This is kind of a longer one, but I wanna make sure I cover all the information that we went over. And I tend to, once I see someone's getting something, I kind of like verbally vomit all this information. And I'm trying to just contain it into a packet so that when Kat rewatches this or someone else rewatches this, they kind of have a lead or an idea of what we were talking about. So, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, just hit me up and let me know. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, on uh, my guy, you can find me on Prometheus Arts as well. Uh, thank you. So, this is the diagram I talked about. Uh, for the modes that we spoke about in the flower variations that I wrote down. Um, it's just a short format of how to kind of write out a language for yourself so if you're drilling something you have an idea. I find for myself that I kind of learn in a couple of different spaces, either visually or listening or practicing, but sometimes writing things down really helps me understand like what to do with what I'm doing with poi, I guess you'd say. So if you can get a close up of this, I'll give an explanation. Um, so what I have written down here is SPT, SD, anti versus in spin. So that is split time, same direction, anti spin versus in spin. That's the hybrid we discussed and I went over where one hand is doing an in spin and one hand is doing an anti spin. The rest of this is short form, kind of an idea how to break it. So I have version one, I ever wrote in purple, because purple didn't show up, but V1, so this is just short term for right arm forward, left arm back, anti-spin and in-spin. So that way you're looking at this and you can glance over and be like, all right, my right arm's going forward, it's doing the anti-spin, my left hand's going back, this is the in-spin. This is not concrete that you have to follow this, this is just an example. Same thing with version two, it's flip-flopping everything. So right arm's back, left arm's forward, left arm's doing anti-spin, in-spin. If you notice, I have an asterisk here with arms are in opposites. So arms are in opposite directions, same times. And I also mentioned in the video that if you maintain kind of a bounce in that opposite direction, same time with the arms, it can help kind of sync up these in-spin versus anti-spin pedals. Um, extras that I went over. I went over top and bottom caps and same time and same direction. And then we went over the extension versus the anti-spin. And then we went over the bottom version of it real quickly. And then we went over switching between modes, flower modes. So that was moving through um, basically an anti-spin and then at point one with both arms out was when we switched to the goofy flower. And then once we got back to one, we switched to a bottom side cap. And then when we got back to one, we switched to an in-spin flower. And once we got back to one, which is where the arms are back out, we went into in-spin flower. So we just basically moved through all the variations here and then we showed that if you follow the extension, you can turn 360 or 180 in and out of wall in wheel plane to kind of teach you how to turn from being in wheel plane doing flowers and be able to easily flip into wall plane for all the wall plane fun and tech. Uh, but yeah, there's that. Hope you can see it. Enjoy.